when it came time to uh, design this pair of shoes, I kind of designed this from the ground up with the folks over at Acme Shoemaker. This is a brand new last. I'll get into that in a second, but we kind of started with definitely wants to. I definitely want it to be a boot. I was kind of like starting off with the idea of either a wingtip boot or a uh, kind of a Galway inspired Acme version of, of the Galway from Edward Green. I got a little ahead of myself there, but as you can see on the label of the box, this is color six Horween Shell Cordovan. It is a fall wingtip boot and it's pretty special. I'm not gonna focus too much on the unboxing experience as let's face it, I have <laughs> unboxed my fair share of pairs of shoes and boots from Acme Shoemaker. These were shipped to me with actually all of the pairs for the trunk show, put on by Justin Fitzpatrick, Kirby Allison, Jesper from Shoegazing Blog. And because of that, there's like a lot of uh, sample pairs for the trunk show. And uh, this came in that large shipment. If you guys are interested in seeing all those pairs, maybe just some of the preparation for the trunk show. I'll see if I can kind of put something together like that, but I also don't want to kind of like ruin what people are going to want to come to the trunk show for and actually get some hands-on experience with Acme Shoemaker. I'd I'd uh, be remiss if I didn't mention these shoe bags. It's always kind of this like check pattern, a very robust feeling shoe bag with a, a nice like plush velvet lining. This is a new color and a new pattern though from the shoe bags that I've had in the past and it's always kind of like a welcome surprise to see the variation in the shoe bags that they have. I don't have a wingtip boot so I thought like this is the perfect opportunity to uh, get a wingtip boot and uh, make it pretty special. I love the color six shell cordovan and penny loafers that I have from Acme. They just happen to be right here. Who would have thought that I would have planned ahead like that? But yeah, they're right here. I absolutely love this shade of shell cordovan, my favorite shade of shell. So it was kind of a no brainer. I love the fall wingtip uh, pattern, whether that's a, like a hole cut or like my lazy man or the Oxford that I have from Antonio Meccariello. And uh, I was like, how can I integrate a, uh, a fall full broke into a boot? All the broguing that you see here is punched directly into the upper. This is not uh, multiple pattern pieces like you would see on a more traditional wingtip. This is what they call a fall wingtip or an imitation broke. This is really special because basically you only get to use two pattern pieces, the rear quarters and then the front portion or the vamp. And all the detail is punched into those simple pattern pieces and it creates a very like traditional wingtip aesthetic, but with a bit of a twist, kind of gives it a little more of an elegant look because it's very sleek while maintaining that wingtip aesthetic. This is definitely a boot that I want to be able to wear often and everywhere. Uh, so the Vibram heel, the Vibram explosion, half sole of the Topi was kind of a no brainer for me to, to get on this boot. I wanted something very traditional, very like understated. So kind of went for the, the darker tonal um, double sole or one and a half soles on the front to a blind welded waist, a very like trim hand stacked heel, but nothing like overly pitched. On the bottom waist, obviously you can see this is a beveled, a beveled waist, not a fiddle back. And that's really like my favorite. This is kind of like my favorite bottoming of any any of the shoes that I have. Just perfect form, function, and still maintains all of the elegance and refinement that you would expect from a handmade shoe. You can really just see like the, the lines here are just, the stitch density and just the overall finishing here is nothing short of just perfection. <laughs> Look at the actual details everywhere. The medallion fits perfectly on the last. And uh, that's a pretty important detail I want to highlight here. So this is a new last. We were going for something that's very like classic, classic round, nothing overly robust, but at the same time, something substantial enough to make this boot have a very like strong aesthetic silhouette for lack of a better description. So the, the name of the last is the M85H. The H always just denotes that it is a boot last or a high last. And uh, 
you know, the the shoe version of those last are the same numbers or same letter and number just without the H. So this is the M85H. The shoe version would just be the M85. But it's just got a very elegant classic round toe. You can see that like the pitch and the, like the sweeping angle of the shape of the toe just like perfectly kind of adds a bit of like three dimensional, um, you know, beveling kind of like creating these sharp, sharp lines, but nothing that's too like stark. One other detail I do want to call out that I kind of specifically requested was that we include the, uh, you know, a, a pull tab on the back of the of the boot, but it gets integrated inside and just a very like thin piece of fabric that goes all the way down. Um, maybe not all the way down, but this is the same way that it's integrated on the chuckle boot that I have from Acme. And I love this because it kind of gives you the function that you need with a pull tab and a boot. But at the same time, it doesn't interrupt the aesthetic or just the function of kind of like something like stopping your pant leg from kind of very nicely like draping over the boot. Let me go ahead and unlace these, get the shoe trees out. Just as I'm unlacing these, the thing that, that kind of uh, came to mind is I definitely would have liked a, uh, you know, a couple of speed hooks on the lacing here. It's, you know, obviously a much sleeker aesthetic with without the speed hooks like it is here. But from a standpoint of just like usability, the speed hooks are definitely pretty important for me. That said, kind of as we were coming through and designing all of this, coming up with the, the colorway and kind of how everything would come together, uh, that we just we couldn't uh, land on any of the color speed hooks and eyelets that they already had in stock to be a good pairing for this this boot and because of that we actually decided to keep it as blind eyelets and then if I decide to to get metal um, eyelets with the speed hooks added at a later time uh, all we have to do or all I have to do is just add them I don't have to remove anything and that'll that'll make it as easy as possible to kind of make that uh, addition you know after the fact so this is the the shoe tree for this new last you know these are fully lasted yeah they have springs but that's really just to kind of elevate the fit of the shoe tree the actual shape of the shoe tree is fully lasted for the size and shape of the toe This is a, a, a pretty like special boot, and I'm really excited, really appreciative of Acme for obviously this pair of shoes, but also I think it's just pretty cool opportunity to uh, represent a you know a shoemaker that I would uh, easily say is one of my favorite, if not my favorite today, uh, at the first like Super Trunk show in New York City. Hope to see you guys there. If you want to check out the last unboxing of a pair of boots that I got check out this video right here. Otherwise, I'll link the uh, Shell Cordovan podcast right here, and you can dive in at the last episode that you left off with. Thanks, guys.